my name is Kobe Maxwell. Um, I'm a Ghanaian musician, artist, and a film producer. Everybody dance, do your dance, do my dance, do this dance, do that dance. That's on to dance. That's on to dance. That's on to dance. That's on to dance. Get your swagger. It's been some years back uh, when I started um, as a musician. I played many bands in Accra back in the days, which live band was very uh, much the life, uh, nightlife in Accra. So I was in the band called Amazing Six. We were young, all young kids, and we play like older people. At some point, we started playing at a jazz club, which is now called Plus 233. It used to be called Baseline Jazz Club. Uh, we played there. I played with um, Ramo Blue at Golden Tulip Jazz Club, Nightclub. So I've done a lot in here in Ghana before I started traveling with um, you know some Ghanaian artists such as uh, Kudrenchi. I went to Europe with Kudrenchi and we went to the States. And after the tour, I decided to go and uh, pursue my career in the U.S., uh, go to music school, um, and take the career to the next level and that's when I left Ghana which was 1997 When I went to the States I joined a church that I played the guitar, bass guitar for them. I was leading the praise and worship team and to a point that the church was really, really admiring my talent and they were encouraging me to make a record. So I did recorded my first gospel album, uh, which was about nine songs on it. And then after that, it was successful, it was beautiful. I mean, you know, you could feel the high life, even though it's a gospel music, you could still feel that it's, it's like Joe Alakis gospel music. And then the second album came up, um, based on the success of the first album, I decided to do another album, which was a gospel again. And that, I, I love African rhythms. So I collaborate different rhythms from different countries, Congo, um, Angola, South Africa, you know, mixed with our high life. So it became more like an international gospel album and I featured people from different countries on this particular gospel album CD. And it was way, way, way above the Ghanaian community in the US. Um, everybody know that. <laughs> that was uh, a Congolese song that I remixed it with Chi. Only a fuma this what yes so now we better so Korea. Ye jidi e woni muai. Only a wo jidi a kese pepele pepele. Yanga ina yesu pepele pe. After the success of Pepele album, which was my second album, um, you know I was still playing. You know all the high life musicians, Amachi Dede, Ofuran Ponsa. That the Lumbers and so on and on. Whenever they come to the States, I put the band together to play with them. It got to a point that my high life influence is coming back, really. And then I came to Ghana in 2007, and then there was a fashion going on. These young ladies would dress, you know, showing their thorn or whatever a lot of people call it, I'm away. And um, it was a very interesting story, the trending then. So I, I wrote a song. And I decided to release a single, but then it turned to become an album. So that actually released my third album, which literally was a combo, a music videos and CD all packed together, uh, which was a first in, a, you know, in as a Ghanaian artist releasing combo. After that, I put a hold on music. Then I've been also getting influence to African movie industry, which was getting really big in the States. I have composed some music for African movies in the U.S. and literally they were very um, successful, you know, my music in the movies. And I started getting very much interested in movies in industry and um, I decided to produce one. And by then I've also been influenced with some, you know, Hollywood 
um, filmmakers. I've been around filmmakers during uh, my soundtrack, composing African music for soundtracks. Um, so, yeah, I produced my first film, which I wrote the story. Um, and it was very interesting because paparazzi, it's, it's a story, it's a, it's a rural. It's, it's, I was inspired by Kanye West. Um, has some situation at the LAX airport uh, with the um, paparazzi photographers that follow um, celebrities. It was funny, so I, I just felt that there is a love interest and hate, a love and hate interest within the industry itself. When we want to become famous, we need paparazzis, we need media. But when we are famous now, we don't want to um, definitely um, enjoy that presence. So. Um, I wrote Paparazzi, which was a story between, you know, um, celebrities and uh, paparazzi photographers and, you know, media people. Um, but at the end, it was a success that we worked together, you know, we can all help each other for the journey. So but Van Vicker played the lead role and I play um, in a supporting role. Um, that was my first time acting and producing the movie. But the truth is hidden in the dark. In the case of the laptop. Paparazzi, I in the dark. And after that, we did a music video. All the soundtrack was also a CD. So I released a Do It album. Tonight I wanna do my drink. So Do It was an official soundtrack for this movie, Paparazzi Eye in the Dark. And then that album came out as well. So I came back to Ghana, I introduced Do It album here, you know, but then I left. And when I left, I pursued the movie industry again and worked on another movie, which was uh, One Night in Vegas, um, even took it to the next level. I also did a soundtrack for One Night in Vegas, released soundtracks for, for the movie. And some of you guys know 118 Vegas is one of the biggest um, Gollywood, Nollywood movie that I've ever produced with a um, bunch of A-list stars, uh, with Hollywood actors. We're going to Vegas. But what wasn't in the plan was a night out with the boys. James, what do you mean? Well, I guess, I guess it is. Yeah. The creators of Paparazzi Eye in the Dark introduce a new film. Stop with you, James. The success was um, enormous. It's the only movie that has been released in the U.S. market, uh, Walmart, Best Buy, and you know other um, outlets. So after One Night in Vegas, I've, I felt that you know it's time to come back to music. And then I went back to studio. I've done some couple of singles here and there, but I put it all together and released my next, my fifth album, which is called The Album. The album has a lot of the soundtrack I've made for movies and stuff like that compilation put all together on this fifth album. So the album just got released 2016. Hello people, it's your boy Kobe Maxwell here inviting you specially to my fifth album CD release party. This Saturday, March 12th, guess who we're mingling with? Wiz Boy, Chris Arthur, I'm a K. Abba from Beast of No Nation. Ten awardees. And um, on that release, release of that album, I also have a show which is always uh, comes in March, 6th March, so we celebrate Ghana in the diaspora. So I bring the community together um, from different countries and by that I invited a whiz boy um, to be part of this celebration to perform. And I love this brother, his music, his talent and his very, you know, his persona, I feel that will click. So after the show, we were just talking, we went to some interviews and I'm like, you know what, my dream is to have a collaboration with Wizboy. And he was like, come on bro, let us do it. We went to the studio and boom, we have this producer who is the producer behind uh, P-Square, their first hit albums, his name is Flip Ties. I hit it, chop my money, chop my, yeah. So Phil Tai sent us the beats and we checked it out and it was perfect. It was the right beat for the right music. And we came together to uh, compose this music, African Lady. African Lady, you find me, you see your body, behind me. African Lady, you find me, you see your body, behind me. 
I wanted to do something that it will portray that African African women are different. We have a different personality, light skin, darker skin, big, small, medium, but it's all beautiful, you know, and also demonstrate our Ghanaian tradition, outfit and stuff like that. So um, after composing the song, really, you know, get the song ready, I couldn't think of doing anything else to, to release the song by coming home to produce um, its video. I wanna follow you there, go, baby, oh. That brought me to Ghana um, 2017 to produce the video for African Lady. I brought Wiz Boy from Nigeria, DOP came from Nigeria, I have a top model came from Cameroon, Sandy, and another um, model from Nigeria uh, who uh, lives in Ghana. So also still I try to bring the African community that together all the time of whatever I do. My movie industry career is still um, pending. There is, uh, I'm trying to take the industry, the movie industry, to the next level. Um, our movie, we are not making money. We are not. Let's be frank. Um, because there's no theaters that are really sustaining you know, the budget of making a movie to recoup that back in the theaters. So I've learned a lot in the, the way Hollywood is doing and I'm trying to adopt that. But it's, it's a challenge, but we are working on it. So I'm doing a short film. I'm doing a short film to go to film festivals, to meet the road distributors, to influence them, the potential opportunities that our industry has because our people love our movies. My goal is to um, go film festivals, get world distributors to help us with the platform of distribution in order for us to sell our um, product in a proper way, proper market to make money. <laughs>